Platinum Royal Entertainment. Right there. Right there. Right there. We're future, so we feel sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My name is Robert Lee Connor Jr., aka Rob C. You know, my grandmother once told me, son, you'll never miss your water till your well runs dry. Have I always enjoyed the art of music? Yes. I had no choice. It was, you know, in me. My parents installed it in me, so that's all I did. I wasn't a child that played a lot of uh, games. I went, you know, played with other kids. I played a lot of, you know, music and instruments and stuff my whole life. Did my family do anything to encourage me? Yes. Uh, especially my mother. Um, keeping me off the streets. Uh, not allowing me to play with a lot of kids, which it sounds bad, but now that I'm grown, I see that she knew exactly what she was doing. Who else in my family sings? Everyone in my family sings. Um, my father, my mother, we had, like I said, the Golden Hummingbirds was the family's gospel group right there. So I mean, and traveling, we've been traveling our whole life doing it. You know, since I was four or five years old, I was on the road with it. What was the first song I ever sang? First song would have been a gospel song, so, the songs I sang then, it would have been had been, which my mama going to know I'm correct, it was got to take a message to Jesus. If I could have any style, what would it be? That's a hard question for me. Um, let me see. Um, it's kind of it's kind of difficult to say because uh, actually I don't listen to nobody else at all. From childhood up, I've always, you know, listened to my father you know, my family, myself, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I don't listen to the radio or nothing like that, but um, if I would say somebody, it would be D'Angelo. Who are my inspirations other artists? Um, Michael Jackson, um, Stevie Wonder, Charlie Wilson. Um, Stokely from Mint Condition, R. Kelly. Hmm. That's a hard question. That's, I, that's what I'd say. What's a singer that I think I could compare, my, could compare myself to? Uh, something like it would be compare myself to just me being me, whoever and anybody, but um, sound like. D'Angelo. Who would I like to open for and why? Um, that's a real easy question. It would be um, R. Kelly without him. Without him. Um, because for one, 1998, I got signed to him. And uh, I never got the chance to come out, you know? And I just want him to see what I am now, you know? Um, I didn't get that opportunity. I was right there with him. He was at the top of his game, and I thought, you know, what he told me was going to be real. And it just didn't turn out to be there. I was like a bench player for the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Just watching the game. And um, so now I'm in the game now. And that's why I want to open for him, because it's going to be more than the opening. Best advice for any what that I could ever give anyone would be: first thing is to get a lawyer, read everything, have him to read it. I mean, us reading this artist, sometimes we may think that uh, what we're reading is something good, but it just takes a little line or anything to mess off anything that you have. Um, what's the most thing I enjoy about doing music? I enjoy everything about doing music and um, uh, from from meeting people and hearing their problems and hearing the good things that happen. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just being around people, period. Uh, uh, those are all uh, songs and stories, you know what I'm saying? All of our pains and the stuff that we're going through. I mean, the struggles that's out here. I mean, this Ferguson situation and all this stuff that's happening right there. There are songs. I've done a song about the, you know, about Ferguson and what was going on. So that's all music. Everything is music. So 
uh, like I said, my mama kept me in music my whole life, so um, I used everything as music, you know what I'm saying? I mean, all of my situations, I, I couldn't even count the songs that I've wrote. And uh, for everybody that knows me all around the United States, because I've lived on every coast, you know, so they'll tell you that, yo, that's all this dude do is do is right, 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 you know what I'm saying? So that's, I enjoy every aspect of the music, the production, the, you know, the writing, all that. Do I produce and write all my music? Yes, I do. But uh, sometimes it's always good to work with other people to get another sound, you know what I'm saying? So, but I'm not getting ready to veer off from what I do to just jump on somebody's, you know, other track. We got to have a, a similarity in our vibe or something, you know what I'm talking about? There's got to be something that I would do, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, with other hands touching it like that. So, I mean, I'm always open to do like that. But yes, I, you know, I love to work with other people. No big artist. Yes, I have. I've um, just to name a few. I've worked with um, R. Kelly. I work with uh, Lupe Fiasco. I work with um, Ice Cube. Um, some of the biggest memories I've had, period, um, was me being under the under the wing of R. Kelly. Um, uh, the, the, the traveling I got to do, I mean, I got to go anywhere I wanted to go, whenever I wanted to go. Um, 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 it, just, it just was a lot of fun and um, the best um, equipment to work with. They, you know, giving me the best of, you know, like that, you know, things like that. I mean, I enjoyed all that. But I me, mean, like I said, personally, myself, R. Kelly can tell you himself, I was always at the house. Some of the places I went while being signed to R. Kelly. Okay, <clears throat> this is how it goes. Um, I was an artist that was supposed to be doing the album and this, you know, uh, working the album, but I had a friend on the inside that um, told me and taught me the moves that I could make. So wherever people went to or wherever the shows were that I could attend as well. So I got to attend um, uh, Amsterdam. I went to the the Hemp Fest in 1999. I've been to um, the UK. I've been to Japan. Um, every, I think I'm pretty sure every state in the United States. What's my favorite color? My favorite color would be blue. My favorite food. Uh, I'm a country boy from Kentucky, and uh, what Mama cooked, we ate. So everything. Any celebrity crushes? Yes. Uh, I love Beyonce, and uh, and I also love, um, I forget her real name, it's, they call her Nunu though, uh, from ATL. I like those two women. <laughs> I got a crush on both. Sorry, Jay-Z. Yes, ma'am, since the age of uh, three, four years old, I started then, and uh, my growing up singing in, in a gospel group, which I was around musicians. My uncles was like, uh, musicians church musicians you know so um, my toys used to be equipment you know something for Christmas or whatever mom them got me guitars and stuff like that you know so I've always had equipment around me so um, I've learned to play every instrument I, and then um, that, that's in the, in the, in the gospel world um, and then when I got to high school um, uh, I was under uh, Mr. Doug Van Fleet and I, I started playing a trumpet. That was my first band instrument. And from trumpet, you know, I stayed after school a lot, you know, playing around, getting in all the special bands and things like that. So I would be playing around and just picking up, you know, other instruments. And I learned to just play just about everything that's in the marching band. What else could you expect from Rob C in the future? Well, the first and uttermost thing I believe is, is, uh, me bringing on beat to back where it used to be. You know, I mean, I feel the young cats and what they're doing, but I mean, the disrespect, uh, the disrespect level on the men and the women's side. I mean, uh, the things that we're saying, um, if, you know what I'm saying, not saying it like that, but if you, uh, um, a certain way, I think you should keep that to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell nobody because, I mean, you got people like me. I'm a, you know, writer, I'll find it. You know, I'm a, I, I listen to people's stuff, so um, you can expect for me to restore R&B. I mean, you know, I see D'Angelo on the move and he doing it, you know what I'm talking about, bringing it back. And man, you know, I'm shouting out to all the other cold ones. I'm talking about, man, I mean, let's go on and get back this R&B thing, man, because these young cats, man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they, our, our kids is gonna grow up and not really understand what love is. So I, I just, 
know that, you know, God's going to bless that we can do that. You know? Where am I at today? I am at the top of my game, re-signed again with Platinum World Entertainment, living the same way I was when I was signed with R. Kelly. Um, very impressed that I'm signed to an indie that's doing the same thing as a major for me. You know what I'm saying? For me. You see what I'm saying? So, um, matter of fact, I mean, I mean, not saying it like that, but I love my company so much, I would just like to ask the United States or whoever sees this, who other independent companies do you see that do per diem? So um, I see myself back and, and with another chance to do uh, what I need to do with a smarter head and um, with people that really love me this time. You know what I'm talking about? And got the best in, you know, in their heart for me. So that's where I see myself at. Do I plan on doing any charity work? I am a giver. And, um, so if, if, if I could help anybody along the way, you know, according to my schedule, because I just can't jump out there and my company has something for me, do I got to honor that first because, you know, it's by contract. But um, I am willing to do whatever I can for any organization as long as it is as help. You know, it's, it's helping someone, I'm, I'm with that. What's the name of the new album? The name of the new album is To Fall and Rise Again. How did I come up with it? I came up with it because that's exactly what I did. I fell. I signed to somebody and uh, I fell. I'm back. Well, I have a single out now um, called One More Time. Um, it's on iTunes. Um, you can go on YouTube and see the video as well. Um, I have another single that's on its way. We got one in the oven right now that's on, you know, on the way out. It's pretty hot too. So, uh, um, got a few projects. We got more than a few coming. Do I plan on doing any acting or doing movies? Yes, I do. Um, I did the barber shop with Ice Cube. That that was um, um, the thing that lit my fire. And uh, as far as doing music, uh, the first barber shop. And um, I would love to do that. I would. Um, I have a few friends that shoot videos as well. Um, uh, brother Alec Lewis. I would like to. Uh, get with the sit and talk with him to see if we could uh do something about this uh title uh to my album to to fall and rise again you know it's a story and it's real everything that, it, that you hear me say is real you know so um it's a real story and just how god brought everything back you know what i'm saying to to the way it used to be and, and better you know what i'm talking about everything better you know i got more bargaining power with what's going on with you know with my career now so Yes, there's a, I would love to do a lot more um, uh, 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 music, uh, you know, with other people and, and acting and all that. That's, that. that's a dream for me. Hey, it's your boy Robert Connor, a.k.a. Rob C. Yo, you can pick my single up on iTunes, titled One More Time, Platinum World Entertainment. Holla.